Hey guys, welcome back to In Search of Tone. Today's episode is going to be a little bit of a sad one because I just learned of the passing of a true legend in the tone community, Mr. Rupert Neve. And for those of you who don't know who that is, I'm going to tell you. Rupert Neve was a Grammy Award winning electronics engineer known for his recording and audio mixing equipment. Notably, he designed the sound desk for both Abbey Road Studios and the famous Sound City Studios, and also founded Focusrite Audio Engineering. Now, somebody might think, okay, well, cool and all, but why is that important? Well, why that's important, at least to me, is this included bands uh, at Abbey Road Studios like The Beatles and Pink Floyd, and as far as Sound City Studios goes, there's all kinds of bands ranging from the 1960s all the way up into 2011 when Dave Grohl actually purchased the Neve Sound Desk from Sound City. There's actually a really good documentary film that Dave Grohl made about that. I'll put a link in the description below. But I mean, the bands, are it, it's too many to list. You've got people like Fleetwood Mac, Neil Young, Nitty Gritty Dirt Band, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Rat, Rick Springfield, Cheap Trick, REO Speedwagon, Guns N' Roses, Dio, Foreigner, The Black Crows, Nirvana, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Rage Against the Machine, Metallica, Johnny Cash. All these bands recorded at Sound City Studios. And why did they go there? For that Neve Sound Desk. It had what a lot of people claim to be some kind of magical mojo about it, but what it really was, was a genius circuit. Sadly, a lot of the magic that was in that sound desk, you're just not gonna see anymore. We're talking old school, analog, tape recorders, none of the digital stuff that we're seeing nowadays, you know, where we can record on our home laptops. So we're not gonna see another Rupert Neve out there. When we talk about all the bands and, and all the albums that were recorded at Sound City Studios and Abbey Road Studios, you know, these are the, the kind of tones that really shaped my perception of what good tone is, and I'm sure a lot of you as well. All right, guys, thanks for spending your time with me today. As always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.